So what's up there, guys? Your man Joe came around just to found that you need to know. And uh, I got an article for you guys. The world's first sex robot wedding as an engineer marries a bot after failing to find a girlfriend. Man, dating must have been tough out there in China. Uh, uh, I can't, uh, hang... 31 as an engineer wedding the droid in a simple ceremony on Friday in China. He built his wife Ying Ying after becoming frustrated about not being able to find a girlfriend according to friends. Uh, the bot uh, designed to look like a pretty ch uh, Chinese woman can identify certain images and it is capable of limiting uh, speech uh a few simple words uh okay this is pretty much um i'm gonna i'm gonna read this and i'm probably gonna lead, let y'all read the rest um zing married his certain zing married his uh creation in a traditional chinese ceremony near his home in hangs i can't spell that he wore a black suit and a draped uh, a traditional red scarf over Ying Ying's head in the ritual. His mom and his friends attend to a ceremony which took place uh, by the shore by the side of can by the side of a kennel. Some scientists predicted one day sex robots will be able to love you back. Well, I mean, during, I mean, if you really think about it, because of the population over there in China, I'm pretty sure they probably got rid of the whole like, one-child law, and it's probably going to take some decades to get, you know, to get a wife out there. I mean, the dude, he's not that bad. Well, he's he he got character. Um, I mean, I think the dude should at least gone out to other countries or other um, continents and stuff like that in other cities. I mean, he doesn't have to, you know, stay at one spot. He could have just went out here in the United States or something like that. But, you know, I'm pretty sure that this guy seems to be dealing with a lot of rejection over there in China. Um, he doesn't look... I don't know. He doesn't look that bad. He could have, like, slimmed down a little bit on the, uh, on the food. Um, he could have lost some weight a little bit. I'm not, saying to, I'm not saying that just to be mean, but, you know, I'm just saying... But wow, I encourage like men do not do this. Do not get sex robots. Please don't. Please don't. Uh, hold on for a minute. Okay, uh, I'm going to. Uh, I have the Bible with me. Uh, would you come to me on uh, the Book of Jude, G uh, J U D E, of uh, chapter? Yeah, I mean verse seven. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them. In like manner, given unto themselves to fornication and to give strange flesh. Sex is all. Strange flesh. Flesh, sorry. And are set forth, uh, and set forth in an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. So, so to my people out there, especially my brothers, I know that it's lonely to live out there, but make Jesus Christ your personal Savior today and it, you don't have to worry about trying to find a girlfriend. You can just, actually, there is no such thing as girlfriends in the body of Christ. There's only husbands and wives. But fellas, if you're lonely, Jesus Christ can help you find your wife, your God-ordained wife. Just call him out today. And do not fall for the strange flesh, or you'll be tossed into the lake of fire or hell. So repent and uh, make Jesus Christ personal savior today. Not right now, but right now. Um, uh, be baptized by the Holy Spirit um, and prepare for Jesus Christ's coming. Prepare for the wedding supper of the Lamb. Prepare for the uh, prepare for the seven year. Uh, prepare for the rapture. Prepare for the seven year tribulation and prepare for the great white throne judgment. Okay, so it's your man Joe. See you guys in another video. So okay, all right.